according to Jewish tradition, God has two names. One represents his attribute of mercy. The other represents his attribute of justice. Which attribute does he consider more important for us to emulate? Well, we can get some insight into this question from this week's Torah portion of Kitaitse, which has within it the laws of punishment. What do you do when someone sins? Our tradition does not have any prisons. It has punishments. For certain sins, we have to kill you. For certain sins, you have to pay a monetary fee. And for certain sins, you receive lashes. It says right in this week's Torah portion, it will be that if the wicked one is liable to lashes, the judge shall cast him down and strike him before him according to his wickedness by account. Forty shall he strike him. He shall not err. So how many lashes do we give a person? Forty. No. Only 39. Why? Because the rabbis reinterpreted the verses to have it read one less than 40. Who did this? The unshakeness at Hagdola, the men of the great assembly, and some say that it was called a great assembly because we let a person off with one less lash. In fact, the rabbis then go on to say, first, we should check his physical condition. And if he can't handle 39 lashes, don't give him one more than he can possibly handle. And then our tradition goes on to tell us that the person who's giving the lashes should be someone superior in wisdom and deficient in strength. And the lashes shouldn't be too hard. And then we're told that this sinner is now your brother. As soon as he's punished, he's not considered a sinner anymore. He's your brother. So we see how far Judaism went in expressing God's divine attribute of mercy, sensitivity, forgiveness to someone who was sinned and was punished. And now we have to let go and go on. Which obviously brings us to Quentin Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino is a great movie director. Some of my favorite movies, and I don't see too many movies. Some of the great ones have been Django and Change, and Glorious Bastards, Reservoir Dog, Kill Bill, and Pulp Fiction. Typical rabbinic servants. Well, Quentin came out with a book now until in which he says that he promised never to give his mother a penny because when he was a kid and he told her he wanted to be a writer, she belittled him. And he promised himself then as a kid, listen to these words, you'll never see one penny from my success. There'll be no house for you, mom, no vacation for you, no Elvis catalog for you. You get nothing because you belittled me. Forty years later, he still hasn't given his mother a dime. But you know what? That's part of the woke culture we are living in. One indiscretion, one youthful mistake. And you canceled later on in life. Dr. Seuss, some of his books have been canceled because it, when it was published, it had insensitive imagery. 27-year-old Alexi McCammon was forced to resign before she even started her role as editor of Teen Vogue because social media discovered some tweets she made as a 17-year-old, which were racist. She apologized for them later on. 
too late. Too late. Have a little Rachmanis. And that's what this period of time in the Jewish calendar is all about. It's a time for repentance. It shows that people need not be canceled because of mistakes that were made in the past. Now's the time. Now's the time to let go of all grudges and to show a little sensitivity, a little understanding. Remember, Judaism teaches us that God judges us the way we judge others. You want to judge with justice or mercy? Our tradition would tell you, have Rachmanis. Shabbat Shalom.